When you look around at the local high school football scene, you'll see a lot of former UTEP players now coaching. Now, they all want to pass down their experience to and wisdom to the next generation. And at Shapin, they've got a member on their staff who is pretty good at slinging it back in the late 2000s. Nine overtime, Sam Guzman has more. When you talk about the best quarterbacks to play at UTEP, you have to throw in the name Trevor Vitito. He played QB for the Miners from 2007 to 2010. He set program records in passing yards, touchdown passes, and many more categories that still stand to this day. It's really special to me. It just you know, goes to show that all of my hard work that I put in, all the time and effort that I put into my craft and wanting to be successful, that it paid off in the end. After UTEP and a short-lived stint in the NFL, Vitito pursued a life away from the game of football for almost a decade, but the urge to get back on the gridiron was one that he couldn't resist. At the end of the day, I really felt like I was missing out on the competitive side of, of my nature, and that's like being around sports in any you know, form or fashion. So once the word got around that Vitito wanted back in the business, Chapin football head coach Ryan Warner acted quickly to get him on the staff. I think that's just a huge addition to not only our program, but providing that in the Northeast for the kids that, that funnel through Chapin High School. Your, your position coach you know, has NFL experience and is a big name here in El Paso and has done great things at Utah. In his first year as Chapin's quarterbacks coach, Vitito is already playing a big role in growing freshman Davion Singleton's game. And he's coaching them every play, he's warming them up, he's giving them instructions through the game, the adjustments, what to look for, you know, where the throws are. So he, he has a really good big hand in the development of Davion up to this point. It's been special for me, you know, not that I've taught him everything that he knows, but I'm trying to get him mentally to the level, like I was saying earlier, that he can be one step ahead of the defense so he can play faster, make smarter decisions, and ultimately put our offense in the best position to be successful. And I think he's taking it on well, and um, I think it's really good for our team. We got a chance to see Coach Vitito uh, live in action tonight, and what a great rapport he has uh, with those players uh, out at Chapin. Sure does. Let's go ahead and